so I turned around to swing. My husband grabbed me up by the collar and picked me up, and I was like, I can't believe you just hit me. I can't believe you hit me. <laughs> and so my husband and Did my two respond? kids, yeah, she was like, I don't even remember what she said when she said when I said I can't believe you hit me. That's... Um, my kids and my husband, they both picked me. All three of them picked me up and carried me in the house. And he made some exchanges with her, telling her, you know, this isn't what you want. You don't, you know, want to do any of that. And then she was saying, I'm going to call the police. I told her, call the police. You know, they're going to tell you the same thing. You should have never put your hands on me. So then the police came, and when the police came, we all came back outside. Do either of you have a police. Report? No, because I did not file any charges. I told a police officer, I said, look, no, I don't just... Don't tell me what you oh, told the police officer. I, just, I, I didn't file any charges. I just wanted it done. I just said, we'll just leave it as it I'm is. I'm hearing. I didn't jab at her at all. You want me to believe, carefully, you want me to believe that in that scenario, she's not seeking monetary damages. She's actually looking for more of an apology for putting your hands on her, not necessarily punching her, maybe like this. She says you're not supposed to put your hands on somebody. Is what you're telling me, Miss Clark, very carefully, that you didn't put your hands on her that night? My shoulder touched her shoulder. Okay, I got I it. I went around to uh, reach, I reached around her to grab I got the fence. It. I got and it. And my shoulder I got her it. shoulder. Can I see the bill for removing the poles, please? And I have an estimate for that as well, Your Honor. And I'd like Your to Honor, see your estimate for moving. I also have a video showing that the fence is intact. There's nothing Still that need to be done to just it. Just a second. It's... She's not getting any money for the fence. I'm just looking at her bill for her estimate for removing the poles. Well, the only thing that they're adding is you have remove existing posts and fence from your estimate, and she has a bill for $350, and the bill for $350 includes removing the concrete footings and also filling in the holes that are there. How many posts are there? Um, a total of eight. And your estimate is for $350. Yes, ma'am. Sounds totally reasonable. You're also asking for a dollar for your neighbor putting her hands on you. Yes. You got it. Three hundred and fifty-one dollars judgment on the counterclaim. The claims dismissed, Miss Clark. We're done. Parties are excused. You may step out. Well, I'm disappointed because I just don't think people should act that way. You know, we've tried multiple times to, you know, resolve it, and you know, you don't just come over to your neighbors and cut down their fence without having a conversation with them and trying to work things out. Yeah, I think if you know she hadn't have been aggressive, then you know we could have just you know, giving her a time frame to have it removed and it wouldn't have been any issues. I love to mend the fences. I think we can have a drink and be done with it. I, I'm fine with that. I mean, I don't care. Like I said, I didn't really have any personal problems with her. It's just a matter of, let's get this behind us. It's just been ugly and I don't like it. And like the judge said, just a sorry for putting her hands on me. I'm fine with that. That's all she has to say and then it's uh, over with for me.